Okay, people, I'm documenting the truth. I've just come down the basement steps. Some flyers from Whole Foods that Mr. F feels he needs to, sha to save. So I'm just putting that right out there. Whatever, coat rack, we had to put that there. Bread machine, because I use it, and we don't have room for in the kitchen. Uh, Mr. F's weird stuff. This, my friends, is what happens at the bottom of the stairs when these are things that have not been processed yet, if you know what I mean. Some of this is junk. Some of it, like that beautiful down diesel coat, is not junk. Um, some of it is trash. Some of it is trash bags. Um, here's some of Mr. Huff's magazines. So when he says he doesn't have a magazine problem, don't believe him. That would be some more of his magazines. Okay. So this is um, an example of some of our problems. When we, <laughs> this pile started, when we, um, I'll let you talk to me, I guess. When we cleared out the playroom and put in those shelving units, and we were trying to get rid of things that didn't belong, or things we don't need in there right now, they went in that pile, along with Christmas gifts that we've never found a place for, or processed, trash from gifts that we haven't processed, uh, dress up stuff. That's another problem. This is Mr. F's desk area. So when you see my small pile on my desk, just know it could be worse. And this, people, is actually relatively cleaned up. In fact, I hate to reveal this horrible secret, but I think Mr. F did put a whole bunch of junk in here. <gasps> Shocking, it's not too bad. It's not too bad. Those are just empty boxes. But remember when I said the thing about empty boxes? It is a problem. All right. This would be a shelving unit of photos and other stuff that has not been processed. This would be some doors that haven't been put together. Um, that's actually an empty thing. Painting cloth. Uh, linens. Kids art projects I was getting ready to do. Okay, this is current laundry. Current laundry in the wash. This is Mr. F's stuff. This is all Mr. F's laundry. And that's his dresser. It needs to kind of get processed here and go there. It doesn't always make it all the way over there. Um, bookshelves, bookshelves. Honestly, not that long ago, people, a lot of what you see is actually laundry. Because I have to do my laundry in this little bit of a section and take it out of here. And then <laughs> linens tend to stay there if it's no, one's, no man's land. And then Mr. F's stuff stays to the top surfaces. So... That's our major problems. We have two storage rooms. I'm not even going in there right now because what's the point? What happens for us is this. Did I leave you? I'm sorry. We have stuff. It needs to go into the storage room. To get in the storage room, do you want more waffle? Or are you all done? Do you want more? Nope. To uh, get in the storage rooms, we, it needs to be put in bins. We don't have room in our storage rooms to put things in bins. So these are the choices you have. Bring bins up to the living area and sort and put stuff in. If you have two kids under the age of five, you know that is not happening. That doesn't work. Or get bins, sort and store in the open space of the basement. That's what we have to do. That's why all those piles are there, because that's where we have to do it. That's where we have to put stuff before we can do it. And unfortunately, with our schedules, with Mr. F working two jobs, and me having the kids all day, and then sleeping with them at night, uh, there's not a lot of free time, dudes. There's not a lot of time for us and working out. Um, virtually no time is left for either of us to actually get those projects done. And on the weekends... I don't know about you, but our kids are here. So that's also a problem. And when they're older, it'll obviously be easier. We'll be able to leave them, you know, unattended for a few minutes. But right now, we really can't. So it's not really, sure, some of it's procrastination, yes. But a lot of it comes down to the fact that we really don't have a big enough chunk of time to do it. We don't have sitters. We don't. Uh, we don't have time off. Yes, it'd be great if we could do that, but we don't. 
So this is just how it's going to stay until we get time to do that. Um, and that's that. I mean, really, I mean, you see, this is the house. I mean, we play, we live in it, but it's really not as bad as you probably have had the impression that it is from the pictures of when it's on a bad day. But really, dudes, this is really how we're living. It's not out of control. Should I take a picture of you? Should I take a picture of you? Say hi. Hi. But even when um, kid is at school, when I could get some work done, baby doesn't nap that whole time, and I have to make lunch and all that. I mean, it just, I need like a chunk of time. This is exactly how that problem started, is not having enough time to take something all the way. You know, when you can only get it 25% of the way, that equals a giant pile at the bottom of the stairs. I mean, that was work to get it out of the main floor and into a pile where it couldn't be attacked um, by children. But it's never gone any further than that. And also, people with the purging, really, seriously, we really, I know, I know you look at that and you think we don't purge. We really do. Two years ago, we got a whole dumpster. We filled it up. I mean, we really do. We're, we're willing to get rid of stuff that we don't use, for sure. Um, or that is, like, obviously crap or that we have no purpose for. But we do accumulate because we have a hard time saying no to stuff. And also, this is especially a problem, if we get stuff that's just meaningless, some of you can just put that in trash. I get so annoyed at the, what are you doing? Complete waste of money that went into that purchase. You got it. That I feel the need to try to find a way to make it purposeful and use it. And so I hang on to it. I know I got to get that out. But, oops. Um, that's the story. Yes, we have a lot of tabletop wear, if you're wondering. Several, several sets of china. But stuff like that, people, there is meaning to that because my grandmother saved it. It was her grandmother's, you know, that's hundreds of years of family tradition. That's worth something, people. You don't get rid of just everything. There is some stuff that's worth saving. So it's trying to find out what the line of that is. Every birthday card, no, and I will say I am much better with that, and I don't save every birthday card. But I do save the cards from us to the kids or cards where people have written something meaningful inside. Um, okay. That's that. Just documenting the truth a little bit more. But really, people, it's not so crazy. And if you've ever wondered about your kids and if they have a secret talent, this is hers. Ever since she could stand up, she just wanted to play this little tiny baby piano. There you go. Um, and so I do need to save up for a real piano. All right, bye.